Hi Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of March 9th, 2020. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, and retweet them. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video. Um, also, um, coming up in the month of March, the 7th and the 21st, offering a tarot card workshop via Skype, as well as extended videos. Um, Pisces, which you need to know, um, Mercury Retro ends on the 10th, but it doesn't mean that you're really going to shake the energy of that Retro on the 10th. It could be a couple days extended. So what I'm seeing for Pisces, you're still in that time frame of the unexpected. Okay, and that's going to apply to you for most of the week of the month. Like I said, it takes a couple days after that last day. It does show me that you're working and gaining. It just shows me there's still some of that retro energy. Uh, to hold on to your goals, um, particularly regarding money or finances. Um, there is a reunion with someone from the past. I mean, y'all have got like all a retro. It's going to hit Pisces like a whammy in this last week. Okay, so just be warned of that. So let's take a look. Pisces, I'm looking at your week of March 9th, 2020. Okay, Pisces. What I'm looking at here, we have the Three of Wands. We have the Lovers. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Swords. So let's break this down. I'm going to pull you guys three more. Starting with the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is where I'm telling you to hold on to your goals. This is where you're looking out over the past. You've probably learned from a mistake and you're pulling that knowledge into the current week. Okay, hold on to your goals. The lovers coming in is a positive on the love life for Pisces. This is whether you're coupled or whether you're single. If you're single, it's something new. If you're coupled, this is date nights, re-strengthening of that bond. Right beside that, Pisces, we have the Nine of Cups. This is what I call the fat, happy cat. Offers of love, offers of help, everything you want. Just total happiness and total contentment. Moving forward, Pisces, you've got the Page of Wands, also representing a Sagittarius. Could be a fire sign coming into play, okay? Uh, this is actually showing a message, and the message is working and gaining, okay? Something extra at work. Something's going to help you balance out your money, whether it's overtime, bonus commission, something of that. And then we have the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords is the time frame is now. And I say that because we come into the spring on March 19th. So the time frame is now, in this week of the 9th, okay? Moving forward, Pisces, we have the Queen of Pentacles, representing an Aquarius. We have the Four of Swords, and we have the Four of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is showing me financial stability or things are working out a little bit better financially than what you had anticipated. Four of Swords is telling you to get the rest that you need. Uh, and this one is leading up to your immune system that if you don't get the rest that you need, it can bring your immune down. So there we're coming into spring. There's still allergies and there's still flu season. So be warned of that. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Making wise financial decisions, even though you have stability, you're applying the money to where it needs to be applied. So wise financial decisions. So what we're looking at for your week, the only major coming you guys got is the lovers. Everything strong for Pisces with the lovers card. Now I have my deck here. We're going to take a look at this for your week of March 9th. These are available for pre-order. Those that have pre-ordered already, thank you very much. Just please make sure I have your correct shipping address on file because they should be ready uh the middle of march okay so we're looking at pisces this is your week of march 9th 2020 so pisces what we have new doors opening new opportunities coming to you okay going back to that ace of swords of that time frame is now 
Help is on the way. I love seeing this. Okay. This is your message card. Okay. This was the message of help is on the way. There is the financial stability. There's the working and gaining. That's having your balance restored. A new emotional path. Okay. Well, what we saw here, total happiness, total contentment. Perhaps y'all have been a little restless lately. Brief flirting, but nothing long term. Okay. Now that's going out to my lover's card. It's particularly speaking to my singles out there that whatever new was coming in may not be of the long term. And then we have clarity, the dawning of a new day, getting the rest that you need, guys. Thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget, you guys can join me live every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. I go live. Um, as well as don't forget to check out your daily videos and your weekend videos. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.